Gracious Gang, it's Mike from The Gracious Guest uh, here with you today for a very brief but I think uh, thought-provoking video, hopefully, nonetheless. If some of you guys saw the Super Bowl, which uh, I must confess I did not, I didn't really care that much about it this year, quite frankly, um, but in the wake of the Super Bowl, a lot of the ads, you know, that are always a big deal with the Super Bowl, the commercials that are, uh, you know, oftentimes very funny or, or they're specifically geared towards this huge viewing audience the night of the Super Bowl, a lot of those ads uh, popped up on uh, on the internet, on YouTube, because, you know, we, face it, most of us don't watch regular old TV anymore with commercials. So um, I first saw this one particular ad from GoDaddy.com, which is, uh, you know, kind of notorious sometimes for some of their commercials over the years, but this one was more troubling to me than maybe any ever before. Um, you know, because it's one thing if you have uh, just really kind of... Um, maybe inappropriate content or something, you know, um, in, in a commercial that's just, you know, okay, you shouldn't do that, and, and we can maybe have a conversation about that. But this this particular ad, I hope I'm not overplaying this a little bit, but I really think it's it's got some very troubling stuff in it, and I would say that it's sort of a lot of our messed up culture um, distilled down into one, like, I think 60-second spot. So listen to the text here. I have it printed off uh, right here. So if you saw this, it's a GoDaddy commercial, and it's this woman, like young woman walking down the street, and it's it's all about like her like going off the beaten path into this really cool, like artsy, um, you know, very expression-filled building where everybody's doing all this cool stuff. Okay. Now, right off the bat, I'm of course not, you know, mocking art per se, or, you know, the importance of us having genuine self-esteem and all that kind of stuff. But just listen carefully to the wording here. The world is isn't black and white. There's no set path, no way you have to be. So why not do what you've been dreaming of? When you're stuck in someone else's story, write your own. When they want you to be quiet, say it louder. When you crave change in society, make it happen. Don't listen to self-doubt. Don't stop for people who don't understand your vision. Whether it's big or small, just go full steam ahead. You've got the power, we've got the tools. Make the world you want and share it with everyone. Hmm. Sounds good in some ways, right? You know, like, yeah, it's about empowerment. It's about believing in yourself, achieving your dreams and all that kind of stuff. I'm starting to have trouble with that, all right? Not because I don't think we should try to achieve our dreams, not because I don't think we should have confidence, not because I don't think that we all deserve respect and love to be treated with full human dignity uh, and, and all of that. That is absolutely uh, my deepest belief, in a sense. But there's some very troubling things in here, because I think when we look at it and, and you know, zoom in a little bit more, I would ask a lot of questions, like, the world isn't black and white. Um, okay. Uh, that's a pretty big blanket statement, right? What do you mean by that? Like, does that mean that there is no black and white? There's no right and wrong? Uh, like, what, well, what are we going with? Like, how, how far can we stretch that, right? There's no set path, no way you have to be. Okay, well, what if I don't want to be just um, or good or fair-minded or tolerant? See the problem there? Um, so why not do what you've been dreaming of? Okay, that's fair enough, right? Um, when you're stuck in someone else's story, write your own. Um, well, I, I don't know, because, um, we're all part of a bigger story than anyone we can write. And we all know that we can greatly affect, obviously, our lives and, and, and make decisions and, in a sense, write our own story. But where's the line? Where's the line between me just completely doing whatever I feel like versus maybe sometimes going against what I feel like because what I feel is wrong. What I feel is evil. What I feel is maybe devastating to someone else, right? You know, feelings, man, we have to get that under control because we must not be led by feelings. Feelings come and go all the time. Some are right, some are wrong. Um, and, man, we all know that, if we really admit it. When they, when they want you to be quiet, say it louder. Well, as someone who's gotten in trouble, maybe, for talking over the years when I shouldn't, um, yeah, 
and as a teacher. <laughs> yeah, try that one in your ninth grade math class and see how well that goes. Um, when they want you to be quiet, say it louder. I guess that depends on what we're talking about. Again, if you're talking about justice for people who are being oppressed and the people who are evil and unjust are trying to prevent that, yes. But if we're talking about just sort of like pontificating um, about some, um, you know, uh, very emotional-based um, attempt to kind of like just eradicate some deeply important and, and um, uh, long-held tradition that holds the whole world together, like the family, for example, um, maybe you should be quiet and listen a little more. Um, and I think we got plenty of people talking. I mean, I'm talking right now, yeah, but I try to listen more than I talk, and it's a struggle, but, but we have to try. You know, that's... So. Don't listen to self-doubt. Okay, that's fair. Don't stop for people who don't understand your vision. Well, maybe somebody doesn't understand your vision because your vision is messed up. Okay, that is possible. <laughs> you know, maybe someone's warning you that the vision you're pursuing needs some work, right? Uh, you know, maybe you need help, okay, from someone else. Maybe it isn't all about you and your vision, you know? So, whether it's big or small, just go full steam ahead. Okay, fine, you know, I mean, do your best, right? You know, make your best effort. Um, you've got the power, man, everything's about power, right? We've got the tools. Oh, cool. You know, all right, whatever. They've got technology. They've got tools. Great. But that's that, la that's that last line that, that really bothers me. Make the world you want and share it with everyone. How in the world do you know or do I know that the world I want or the world you want, right, is what's best for everybody else? I think that's a fair question. Make the world you want. Well, there were some very, very, very horrible, evil people in history who tried to do exactly that, right? And we all agree that that was not okay. You know, uh, your Hitlers, your Maos, your Attila the Hun, okay, go down the list, Nero, uh, you know, Genghis Khan. There's lots of people who've tried to make the world they want, and they tried very hard, and they went full steam ahead. My problem with this is it's just an ad, right? It's just for a website or for a, um, a website hosting, you know, service. Yeah, but it's more than that. It's more than that. I, I submit to you because that's the operating principle that so many of us and so many of our uh, so many levels of our society are operating with. It's this very self-aggrandizing, self-focused, selfish way to live life, and life is not about you. Your life is not about you. My life is not about me. We are part of a bigger story that we are all meant to be part of. We have to discover where we fit in that story. We have to help each other figure out where we belong in that story. So it can't be done on our own. And the more we try to make this, this uh, impossible, um, completely out of touch with reality jump to where I'm just going to define everything about the universe... We're never going to be happy, ever. So, something to think about today. Another example of where you can find deep and profound stuff sitting right in front of you, in my case, in a YouTube ad that I was desperately trying to skip because I was trying to watch some Star Wars update or something. And I, I was forced to sort of absorb this message, but it led to this video. So, a little food for thought today. Uh, go out there and try to uh, do something for somebody else today. Try to find a little bit more of your meaning and who you are and, and where your place is in this world in relation to others, in relationship with others, and ultimately in relationship with the God who loved you and made you and is sustaining you and being at every single moment, okay? So, God bless you all. Take care. Go to the website, thegraciousguest.org. And until next time, don't forget to wonder. Take care.